Jack is the central character of the play. It's sort of his uh, his story, um, and he has uh, he's been leading a bit of a double life, and it's the story of him uh, learning over the course of the play uh, who he really is. He was abandoned as a child, found in a handbag in uh, in uh, the cloakroom of a railway station. And I want you just to me. to be born, or at any rate, bred in a handbag, whether you have animals or not. Seems to me to display a contempt for the ordinary decencies of family life that remind one of the worst excesses of the French Revolution. Uh, late 1800s Victorian England, you know, your bloodline is as important as anything else, and, and in many ways, uh, you'll see in some of the scenes with Lady Bracknell, your bloodline is often more important than anything else. I would strongly advise you, Mr. Worthing, to try to acquire some relations as soon as possible and to make a definite effort to produce, at any rate, one parent of either sex before the season is quite over. This is my second time working with Avery, um, and I, I did Hamlet with him last fall at Arkansas Repertory Theatre. But we had this epic sword fight at the end of the play, so um, so we spent a lot of time in the rehearsal hall together, and it was very intense, grueling work, very physical work, and, and uh, we got to be uh, pretty good friends. And so it's uh, it's night and day uh, between the two of the one being so heavy and so serious and so brutal and life and death stakes, and the other, this one being, um, you know, as, as Wilde describes it, a trivial com comedy for serious people. So. I can't eat muffins in an agitated manner. The butter would probably get in my cups. One should always eat muffins quite calmly. It is the only way to eat them. I say it is perfectly heartless nor eating muffins at all under the circumstances. When I am in trouble, eating is the only thing that consoles me. Indeed, I am very trouble. So anyone who knows me intimately will tell you I refuse everything except food and drink. Uh, Philip and I, um, Philip is playing Lady Bracken. And he and I have uh, a few scenes together. And in the, be <laughs> in the beginning rehearsals, uh, he would, I would laugh every other line. I, it was so hard for me to keep it together and you know, sort of work through that part so on the day of you can do it, but man, that guy's funny. And they say comedy's courageous, uh, and I think it really is because part of what you're putting out there is uh, what you find funny. But you know, I, you know, I think this is funny and so I'm gonna approach the scene this way. And, um, and, th and I think there's a lot of courage to that because sometimes we find things funny that other people do not. Anybody who is a theater lover should uh, should enjoy this, and if they're afraid, if people, anybody's afraid, it's going to be um, sort of removed from them because it's a, an older piece and the language might be uh, hard to broach. Um, I think they should let that go and come and have a great time. It's one of the most fun plays at, at the theater. This production, um, I'm I'm I have no fear in saying that it's go it's going to be funnier than the the hit Broadway production. Thank you.